Alrighty, so this is going to be a quick overview on how to use the 365 Office Deployment Tool to install Office 365 applications, or your preferred package. So first and foremost, we're going to have to download the 365 Deployment Toolkit. I have a quick shortcut here, but you can very easily find this with a Google search of just Office Deployment Toolkit. Now, again, Microsoft provides this free of charge. You can just download it from their website. Once you have that file downloaded, it's going to um, ask you for a place to create those files, or it's actually just going to extract some XML documents as well as the setup utility. Um, go ahead and click accept, and then I'm going to make a new folder on the desktop, 365 deployment. Alrighty, now once we have that folder created, we'll just click OK, and it's going to extract all of our necessary files. So inside of that folder, we have some pre-included XML documents, and you can create your own um, in order to install specific versions of the software. Um, I myself have used this to install 2019, home, as well as um, business. Um, the ones that they include are for enterprise. Um, so once we have these files extracted and downloaded, we're going to open up a PowerShell command prompt or a command prompt, um, whatever you prefer. And then we're going to navigate. Um, I ran it as an administrator. Um, you know, make sure that you have administrative privileges um, in order to like actually install the software. Um, <clears throat> so once we are ready, we're going to navigate to this folder. All right. Now, once we're in this folder, you can go ahead and call the setup application and then use the forward slash download command to actually download one of these XML documents. So whichever one you're going to be downloading, um, I'm going to be downloading the Office 365 64-bit version. I can type. All right, now once you've started that download, if you go ahead and refresh this folder, you'll see an Office folder created. Um, now this has to fully download the entire package, so our PowerShell prompt is going to be busy until that completes. Once it completes, um, it will give us back a terminal prompt, um, and we'll actually be able to call our second command, which is the exact same command except configure instead of download. So I will be back once that has completed. Alrighty, so we are back and we have our PowerShell prompt available to us once again. Um, we can go ahead and verify that our package has completed its download by right-clicking the folder, clicking properties, and we can verify that the size on the disk is similar to our total size. Um, once we are ready to actually install our software, we're going to once again call the setup application. And as I had mentioned before, we're going to run forward slash configure. Alrighty, so uh, make sure that you select the exact same XML document, otherwise we'll run into some package incompatibilities. Alrighty, and we can see that this, we're getting things ready, Office prompt appears. Um, this is going to just pretty quickly summarize the actual installation process. Um, I will be back once we are finished installing. Alrighty, so we're back and Office is letting us know that it has been fully installed. We can go ahead and check our start menu, and as we can see, we have all of the Office 365 suite installed in our recently added applications menu. Um, they should also be down here, but we'll go ahead and verify that those are installed. Let's go ahead and open up Word. Okay, and so with the simple use of a uh, deployment tool, um, and this can be automated through you know, your RMMs, uh, platform if you have one, or perhaps, you know, through scheduled tasks or net logons on domains. Um, but this is an incredibly handy tool. Um, you can install the 365 software entirely in the background. Um, and as I had alluded to beforehand, you can create your own packages. Um, Microsoft has their own configuration platform, um, the Office 365 Customizer, where you can go and generate your own packages. So you can install the actual project software entirely separate from the actual 365 suite. You know, it's very possible that that user might have um, uh, the 365 software already, but you can install project independently. There's a whole lot of resources online um, to generate your own packages, but um, we did successfully get the 365 software installed on this computer. Alrighty, thanks for watching.